Hey everybody, Dan here, back with another Trello tutorial. So today I'm going to be covering an integration of Trello with Slack. Now there's lots of ways of doing this um, and there are integrations out there already so we'll be using one of those partly but this particular integration is one that's not easily done with these existing options and requires a little bit of extra setup but I think it's really worth it. So what I'm going to try and do today is show you how to receive notifications in Slack when a card is due. So if you use Trello to track your tasks and they have due dates on them, which a lot of people do use this for, use due dates on cards, and it's a really key part of staying on top of your work, then I think this you'll find this helpful. The, uh, the alternatives at the moment are to receive an email or a notification up in this top right hand corner. But to be honest, I personally quite often miss these because you know, you're busy, you get lots of emails, you get all this kind of stuff, but Slack is somewhere where, of course, you get a lot of messages, but I tend to live in there now, um, and that's my main source of communication for, for my work. So to kick things off, I'm just going to show you how to quickly set up the Butler Slack app, because we're going to need that for this integration. So Trello have a, a handy guide on how to use this. Um, so I'll link this in the description below as well, so you can look at that in your own time. But essentially what we need to do is look for this icon when we're in Slack. So if I open up Slack now and we go down to apps, you can see I have it here installed already. But if you were to click on these dots and go browse apps, then you should be able to just search for it in here and there it is. So you just click on this and click through on the configuration and there's a few steps to go through but once you've given it the correct permissions and access as detailed in this article then you should be up and running. So the next thing we need to do is head back over to our board and actually just to quickly show you what this will look like so once you have a when you have a card that's due you'll get a notification in a channel of your choice that says this is what this one's called test card number two card is due now and then there's a link to the card so you can just click on that and it'll open it up for you and you can get to work on that thing Okay, so to set this up, we're going to go back to our board and we will need to open up Butler. So we'll click on the Butler button, button there. And now we're going to head over to due date. And I've actually got it set up here already, but I will create it from scratch to show you. So we're going to create command, going to add a trigger. So the moment a card is due, you can filter by more options if you need to. I'm just going to leave it as that. So that's the trigger. Now we need an action. And here we have the Slack options here. So this should be set up. If it's not, then you may need to go through some authentication options just to get Slack um, available within your Trello board. But once you've done that as well, then you have this option. So now we want to post a message. So we want to post it into, we're going to write something in here in a second, but we want to post it to a Slack channel. So here we have lots of channels that you could put it into. I have one channel dedicated just for things like this, so that's the one I use, but you could use your team channel or any, any channel you like. And it's in the workspace, Adaptivist. And I'm going to post it as you can do it as yourself. So if you're in a, a group of lots of people, you would want it to go from yourself so people know that it's coming from you or something. Um, or you can do it as Butler. So in this case, I'll just do Butler. 
And in terms of the message, so to get a few things, we need to use a little bit of uh, the Butler language for yeah to make sure it understands. So these are called variables, and there's a handy guide on these here as well. So there's loads of different ones you can use, um, but the ones I'm interested in for this particular case are the trigger card name and trigger card link. So these are trigger being the trigger card being the, the card that has triggered this event. So that's the one we're interested in because that's the one that has the due date on it. So we're going to use that and we're going to use the trigger card link. So then we've got a hyperlink send us straight back over to the to the board from Slack. So this is what you need to write in. So you can customize this however you like to be honest, but I'm just doing quotation marks, this is the name of the card that is due, and this is a link, so I can click on that and it will take me straight through to it. And once you're happy with that, then you click Add. Okay, there's one extra thing, one extra step that you will need to do, so I'll just show you that now as well, so we're going to create set this up. So that's now our complete uh, automation with Butler and you would hit save. In this case, I'm just going to cancel because I already have it set up here. So that final step that I mentioned, which you'll need to sort out before this will work, is you need to head back to Slack and open up your channel that you want these to be posted in. And we need to add Butler to this channel because right now this is a private channel with only me in it. So we need to give Butler access in order for it to post things. So we click on the, the I button of the channel and more. And then we're going to go down to add apps. And you would just search for Butler. And as you can see, I've already added it. So it's just saying view, but you would have the add button. So you click add and then Butler would be added to this channel. And I can confirm that by, you can see here, view one app and try the notifications, and there you go, it's Butler. So once you've done that, there should be no issues, um, all being well. And now we should get some notifications going through. Okay, so now I can give this a test. So we'll create a new card and this will probably only work for new cards. Uh, so those that you already have on your board, it may not work for, but worth a, a check to, to try. But yeah, to be safe, make a new card and then add a due date. So we're going to go for today and we'll add it for a couple of minutes time, so 5.50. Reminder, not actually sure whether you need this, but at the time of the due date is what we would like. So that's that, and then we're going to hit save. So now we have this added, and that should be it. So now we'll just wait till the right time, and then I can show you whether this has come through in the Slack channel or not. Okay, so now let's see if it's worked. Let's head over to Slack. And there we go. So new card is the one we just created and it is now due. So it's come through in the right channel. There's the link. So if I just click on that, it's going to open it up. There we go. So yeah, there's the card and now I can start working on this. Okay, so that's it. That's how you integrate Slack and Trello so you can get those notifications coming through to Slack so you never miss another thing that's going on in your Trello board. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like, uh, hit the thumbs up button below, and if you want more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button and then you'll get notified as and when we release them. If you have any questions or even requests for other videos, like this then please leave them in the comments below and we'll see what we can do okay so that's it and i hope you find that helpful 
and we'll see you next time.